What a gorgeous day out here. Would you look at those awful views? So nice today. Two days, I want to feature a video by Tom Gelly of one of my turns. And uh, I love this video because me just thinking about it and seeing his video on what I was doing for one single heel side turn, it actually, when I was thinking about it the other day, it really helped my switch dance heel side turn get a little more aggressively because I noticed a couple things I was doing in that video that I wasn't doing in some of my ones I was doing switch. So Tom Gelly, yeah, he runs bigpictureskiing.com, does a lot of most movement analysis with that and a very high level skier. So, and if you think about it, skiing, snowboarding, it's basically a lot the same. We're on wooden planks with metal edges and p -text and we're playing with gravity and friction and making our way down the mountain and both skiing and snowboarding when it done well they are both thing can be things of beauty of that so without further ado here is tom's video and his breakdown of one of my heelside turns what can we learn from a snowboarder take a look at this bloody awesome turn here right huge edge angles which allow him to take use of the board to make the turn happen, okay? So what's he doing? Um, first thing, so a snowboarder doesn't have an inside ski and an outside ski, so that's not a necessary thing, like you don't have to have a weight shift necessarily to get a transition, right? Because this guy's not, he's got one ski, you could say, essentially, okay? So what's he doing to cross over so easily into the next turn? Well, the pressure from this turn, okay, he softens, he takes pressure away from the board, okay, by softening, sort of like letting his legs come up underneath him. So see the big flex in the hips? That's the biggest change. Like all these angles pretty much stay the same, right? The biggest change is across the hip joints here. Watch. Boom. Okay, because that allows his hips to cross over his board and taking the pressure off the board this way allows the board to end up up here okay so he's taken pressure away to allow himself to go across he's not pushed on the board more a lot of people if they're on a ski they'd be on their outside ski and then they push on this one to go up and over into the next turn it's not necessarily and it's not necessary at all because a snowboard is doing it okay now, because he's taken that pressure away and allowed his mass to flow across, he gets this awesome continuation of that where he's letting himself moving further inside, further inside, further inside, and now he extends. Watch his quads, boom, or his knees straighten, 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 so he's in a stronger position to resist all these forces. Bang, 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 bang. Covered in snow, but here he releases pressure again. Lots of pressure lots of pressure, releases it, and you can kind of see the knees go from being straight to flexed, 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 and his hips roll across the turn again, okay? So this is what we can learn from snowboarders. You don't have to necessarily focus on foot to foot. The biggest thing you gotta do is allow your mass to flow over from one side, inside one turn into the next through a taking away of pressure. So the skier here, they just had one ski, their outside ski, you just take pressure off through allowing the joints to soften and relax and allow the forces to just take you into the next turn. Now you put some effort in, yeah. Thank you again, Tom, for sending me that. If you are a skier, definitely check out Tom's YouTube channel, a lot of good information there, and his website, bigpictureskiing.com. Link in the descriptions. So yeah, with that kind of thought process of softening the edges, uh, the other things that I noticed when watching that video was how low my center of gravity was. So the next days when I was work working on my switch heel sides, it was, oh, well, yeah, I gotta get a little lower. So just thinking about it like that. And when you're carving, that's the beautiful thing. If you're skidding your turns, that concept of softening the edge probably won't help too much. But for carving, it can be a beautiful thing. But yeah, extra low center of gravity. And the last point, takeaway that I took from it was I noticed how much my uh, back knee dropped right at the very end of the last part of the toe side turn and 
I don't know, for some reason when I was working on that then motion switch dance, I was like, ah, that's kind of the difference. And I don't know, it just gets that little extra board tilt and then the board just wants to do its, you know, go on the other way. So uh, just a nice little concept, something to try out for yourself. So uh, happy shredding. Let's go make some more turns and kapla.